Design Facebook status search is also one of the popular system design interview questions. Facebook provides a search bar at the top of its page to enable its users to search posts, statuses, videos, and other forms of content posted by their friends and the pages they follow. However, given that it will be a 45-minute interview round, we will be designing a system with a lower feature set. In this question, we will be asked to develop the back end of a system that will enable the users to search the statuses that their friends and the pages they follow have posted on Facebook. We can consider that these statuses will only contain text for this particular question. Next, let us review the design goals and scale estimations of this system. Also, as we did while designing Facebook news feed, we should ensure that the final system has minimum latency, and users should not experience any significant lag while searching for the statuses. The system should be highly available. And thus, due to the CAP theorem, as discussed before, we will aim for an eventually consistent system. Also, our system will be read-heavy in nature as more users will be searching on Facebook rather than posting statuses. Thus, the number of read requests will be far greater than write requests. For an efficient system, we will have to consider the following scale estimations. On average, the system will have 1 billion daily active users, and will receive around 5 billion search requests daily. Also, about 1 billion statuses will be generated by the users per day. Now, let us discuss the REST APIs that we will be developing for this problem. To interact with the system, we will need two APIs. The first one is the Status Search API. It is a read API to fetch the search results for each user query. The client will send user ID, search query, maximum results to return, page number, as the request parameters. The second one is the Post Status API. It is a write API to post the new status and store it in our database. This API requires user ID, status content, as the parameters. At the high level, we will need to store all the statuses in a database, and also build an index that can keep track of which word appears in which status. This index will help us to quickly find statuses that the users are trying to search for. Some of the important questions that need to be answered in this question are as follows. 1. How is the search index built for quick retrieval of the relevant statuses? 2. How to store and shard the search index? distributed across multiple servers? 3. What happens if an index server dies? How to rebuild the index, and create a fault-tolerant design? 4. What happens if an application server dies? And, 5. How to balance the load across multiple application servers? Following is a detailed architecture for this problem. Status search is a very complex problem, and thus we will discuss this design in great detail in one of our future videos. So, subscribe to our channel to get notified. You can support us by buying us a coffee by clicking the link in the description box below. Kindly join our Patreon community to support us, and take advantage of our additional services like, detailed resume review, early access, and shout out in our videos. This video is part of the video series on system design interviews at Facebook. Thus, if you haven't watched, we recommend watching it by clicking the above link in the top right corner of this video, or through the link that we have added in the description box below. We recommend you to take a look at our kit.co page in the description box below, for interview preparation books and courses. It also contains additional details about our work from home setup, and the tools used to produce this video. We hope that this video and the resources mentioned in the description will help you in your journey in preparing and succeeding in these interviews. We like to thank you for supporting our channel by giving us a like, leaving a comment, and sharing this video with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon to get notified when we publish detailed solutions to each of these problems in our future videos. See you all in the next video. Thank you.